told y'all that we on a ball and we on a roll and I'm gonna keep it going okay keep it going um I should sound better today <laughs> I don't know what was going up last time but look I'm back I'm here okay um what else do we need to talk about so this reading is for my single girlies um this is just for single girls who like girls and boys it doesn't even matter but I'm going to probably do it more on you know the girl like in the guy side or it doesn't even fucking matter it, it whatever comes out comes out right um but this is for my single babies and look I'm a part of the club I just took myself out of the whole dating situation it's a lot of work it's a lot of work I'm tired I feel like I need to do some spiritual work behind it so I can just get the right person so I can stop fucking around you know what I'm saying I've been celibate for four months y'all five months wait what was this yes on purpose I know I know I know I know I know I used to get it every week but you know trying to be a better person make more intentional moves right so that's why we're here today I tell you all my business I do it every fucking time singles <laughs> what do you need to know who's coming towards you um i just want to do a quick some not i can't even say the word synopsis of your situation uh, i love my big words but i have a very hard time speaking <laughs> okay so anyways it doesn't fucking matter we have uh oh this is not a uh, clear quartz this is um uh If y'all know what the name of this is, I, I want to say it starts with an S, but if y'all know the name of this crystal, let me know. I forget what, it, I forget what it's called. This is Smoky Quartz, and this is Pink Quartz. Y'all know I'm not a crystal queen. I just like them. I think they're pretty. Um, I want y'all to pick them. And plus this one, too. Don't don't pick this one. I just, if y'all know what this is called, I think it's a, a, a Red Jasper Dalmatian. I think it is if it's not then you know let me know but anyways pick this one smoky quartz or pal c pick the one that best resonates with you make sure you go with your first mind because your first mind is always and will forever be your best mind okay don't let nobody tell you differently <laughs> um what else what else what else hmm. anything you need to know about me is in the description box uh and we're gonna get started I'm gonna move this back just a little bit. Okay, my single ladies, how y'all feeling today? How you doing, pal A? <sighs> pal A, I don't know how you feel about this, but I like the overhead camera, kind of, sort of. I just gotta get up and down when I wanna play and pause, but I know they have an app for that, so I'll just figure it out. But um, how y'all like the disposition of the camera? Cause I've had it turned backwards I've had it leaned and now I have it overhead so you know just let me know talk to me because I think I'm going to keep it this way for the um you know I like my big words it's not even a big word a big word for I'm gonna keep this I'm gonna keep it going how it is now I love words just have a really hard time saying them so for pal for pal a hey, what's going on with my sink oh 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 hmm. okay okay good so if you've been in the energy of being indecisive or if you've been in the energy of just like not really making too many moves it's time to move it's time to move see now I can't see what you're seeing that's why I kind of don't like it and I kind of like it. High priest is not the high priestess. See, ain't no fucking space on my goddamn table either. Shit. You know, I like my cards. Oh, let's move this up. I like to have a lot of them. Can you see? You can't see. Okay. Put that right there. Let me get, what, three more? Okay, uh, huh. oh shit, you got cards on the floor, oh, alright, okay, we love a good ace of cups, oh, I did say something about the high priestess, I felt it, I felt it coming out, okay, and then we have the temperance card, and one more, hangman, okay, uh, <laughs> 
I feel like you have a suitor coming towards you somebody with uh, that wants to date you I think you have a, a new beginning with someone mmm I'm sorry y'all trying to drink my coffee and talk shit to y'all I feel like hold on let me see if I can get a cute colorful pen okay my pink one pink is kind of my favorite color nowadays but anyways um I feel like you're in a very very fertile time in your life so for the ladies who can get it you know have babies be careful because I feel like you know and if it's not about children just in general I feel like you're really creating things and growing things in your life um we have the high priestess now the high priestess is all about knowing um she knows the future she knows the past she knows the present and uh she's very in tune with herself um it's a lot of knowledge a lot of knowledge that this high priestess knows my inner knowledge <laughs> is my best guide and all i feel like even your spirit guides might be trying to lead you to this person which is always great let them work let them find them okay because it's easier for them to find them than you to find them right because they can see all things spirits has to have patience i feel like this person that's coming is going to be uh, um <clears throat> excuse me it's going to be a soulmate like maybe you're in the energy of like not having really any direction and love you know not really knowing what you want or how to get there you know spirit says like right now is kind of the time for you to maybe you've had like a pause right maybe you've had a pause of reflection but i feel like the energy is gaining momentum now like it's a lot of energy of like results <laughs> victory success communication clarity getting an understanding of where you need to be spirit says hold your own in this like we want you to stand your ground we want you to get over any type of sadness any type of loss any type of despair because spirit says like you have this change that's coming towards you and we don't want you to focus on negative emotions right spirit says now is the time for you to focus on being successful now is the time for you to focus on like having the things that you want and desiring without using negative emotions to fuck it up you know I feel like you might have somebody that's going to come to you, right? And this is somebody who is very mature, okay? This is masculine energy. Uh, for the ladies who like ladies, um, this person, if they're a lady who likes ladies, this person is kind of like um, very mature, very grounded, very generous, uh, nice energy. Uh, and it goes the same for the girls who's looking for the boas. This person even might be like have their own business or might have some type of status financially. Uh, and they have like a romantic proposal. They have an offer. This person is going to feel something for you. They're very intelligent too. Like you can't, you can't make them feel less than who they are. They're very stable within themselves. You know, I love a person like that. You can't shake their foundation. Oh, I love it. Uh... And Spirit says this is going to bring you some harmonious energy. Like you're going to feel very um, calm with this person. You're going to feel very calm in this relationship. Just in general. It can be like... Because I don't feel like it's calmness because you're in... <sighs> Maybe this person brings you stability. Maybe this person is very patient maybe this person brings you peace because there's something about you feeling grateful and happy to be in a commitment with this person huh okay um let's see oh shit okay the temperance card wants to come out again I know my extremities now I seek peace yeah it, it's a lot of like when this person comes into your life they're gonna be very balancing for you 
so if you are somebody like i need a man who's gonna come in and do car shit like i need for you to change my tire i need for you even though i know how to change my own oil i know how to change my own tire i know how to put gas in it motherfucker i know what it feels when it's off i just don't want to do that shit you know <laughs> I know I can't be the only lady that does not want to do that. I feel like this person is going to come in and be uh, like somebody who is unexpected. And, and I feel like this person might even have finances, might have money to help you with the responsibilities. I feel like there's going to be this person is going to come out of nowhere. Maybe they're going through a divorce or maybe if you're going through a divorce, you might meet them but something where you've probably stopped talking to somebody or they've stopped talking to someone and now they're they're willing to give this person has money they're they're gonna give you money and they're gonna really this might even be somebody that you might commit to some of you guys might get married if you were looking for a husband or a wife this person is gonna be very traditional though though this person is gonna be like this relationship is gonna be very traditional like this person is going to come from uh, maybe a strong background. Maybe um, I'm trying to think. Like you know how when you meet people from different countries, they have like certain rules, values, and all of that. And I'm not saying that uh, us in the United States, we don't have a lot of values and shit like that. But mm, the me... <laughs> Let me keep shit to myself. I feel like this person that's going to come in is going to have morals and values, okay? They're going to be very traditional with their energy. Let me just keep that. Keep it like that. This person is going to really want, like, um, family. Look, here it is. So we have the king and the queen, but the king of pentacles and the queen of wands. This person is going to be very confident and very attracted to your confidence. This person is going to like you because you are well liked. People like you. And that attracts this person to them. So maybe when you guys are out or whatever, people are going to be very gravitated towards you. And they're going to really like that. <laughs> they're going to like the way you treat other people. This person has some type of uh, financial blessing in their life. I'm telling you. Look, I can sniff out a wealthy man. I can sniff out a broke one too. And either one, you know, both are good in bed. Depends. Honestly, it depends. Um, <laughs> anyways, this person is very independent very it's like something about money it keeps on talking about an income this person is very optimistic they might work a lot they might work a lot and men who work a lot or women who work a lot don't ha always have a lot of time but when they do give you time they're very it seems like this person will be very attentive but they're going to give you they're going to give you things anyways so the question was uh shit, what was the question who's coming towards you single ladies um Huh. I'm trying to think mm. I was supposed to give you a card damn but my book is across the room okay let me give you a goddess card because this is for my single ladies and all of you are beautiful goddesses so I gotta give you hi Oya I gotta give you some inspiration I should say I just need one. I just need one card. Please. Oh shit! Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> I did see you. I did. I'm not. I'm not. not I'm not not acknowledging you. Definitely love me some Oya. So Oya, uh, Oya is the Orisha of Ifa, right? And she is the. I want to call him. I want to call her a goddess, but they're not referred to as goddesses. Um, she is the Risha of lightning. Her husband is Shango, and she is over wind, right? And I'm gonna give y'all a real, real quick story. So, I was lighting a candle for Oya, and I can't even remember what I was asking for. This was like probably three years ago, and she told me she was like, "Well, when you're done with this candle, do not throw it away in the trash. You better not throw this away in the trash. You bet not." right so my my ass my i'm not gonna call me a dumb ass because my words you know i'm very smart but my ass threw it away <laughs> and when i threw it away i know what i was doing right 
I think her date is Thursday. I believe it's Thursday. And uh, so that Thursday, I had wind, and she's over wind and thunder. I had wind so strong, it knocked me off my feet and dragged me down the block. Because I, I think she was trying to tell me, like, bitch, I told you. <laughs> I told you not to do that. And <laughs> you're not listening. So her energy is very, very powerful. She is um, the Arisha of change. So if you need something changed really, really quickly, she works like that. Because thunder is really quick, right? Um, I have another story for you guys. My father was telling me about one of his friends um, taking his son to college, right? And he prayed to Oya, asked her for some things, gave her some things, and asked her to remove all traffic so that he could quickly get his son to school, right? I think his school was going—I mean, his school. His son was going to college, and you can skip over this part if you doesn't, if you don't care. I'm just trying to tell you how powerful she is, and then I'll get into the actual message. Uh oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh, okay, your message <laughs> your message is the message of change. Uh, let, let me fin let me finish this story so it can tie all in. Uh damn. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Uh damn, I'm sorry my mind was just blown. So Oya, right? So his son was trying to go to college and they was driving a couple of hours and um he prayed to Oya and Oya he said that it went from being back to bumper to bumper to traffic to no traffic for the next five hours he didn't even stop at a red light because it wasn't a red light so it's like he said that it felt like she moved every car out like she parted the red sea for him that's what he said he felt like so it's like i feel like you are going to go through a powerful change in your life and it's going to come like that remember we had the first card out was the eight of wands the eight of wands is about speed baby it's about speed moving quickly quick communication going fast right that's swift energy and Oya is all about swift energy she'll move she'll move for you so i just feel like you know just a message from her get ready she's not a love she's not a love um <laughs> she's not a love orisha she is a, a warrior she fights with the men okay so she she's not about love so don't go to Oya asking for love you go to Oshun to ask for love you go to Oya Oya's gonna bring you swift change and if you have been in a situation or been like you know single not really having anybody and just wondering when it's gonna happen spirit says uh, well spirit Oya says very soon okay that's nice <laughs> that's nice I know I was saying stuff for a reason I just don't be talking to be talking <sighs> Yeah, you're going to have joy. I want you to listen to that high priestess within you. I want you to listen to your intuition. Because Spirit is saying, like, it's time for you to, like, show the world you. Focus on your balance as well in your life. It's a lot about balance. A lot about liberation. I feel like you are attracting. You are in the energy of attraction. So if this makes any type of sense, what's next for you in love is someone new. And it's going to come very quickly. And to be grateful and thankful. Okay? Because you can be stuck in a cycle for a long time. Trust me, I have been. <laughs> so I hope this reading makes sense to you. Um, be blessed and not stressed. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's see my loves. How y'all doing today? How y'all feeling? Okay, so for Pal P, I want to give y'all a real, real quick message from the goddesses. Just one real quick. Oh, okay. We got the card of betrayal. Uh, 20. Oh, hey. <laughs> Who really betrayed you? Betrayals from others mirror your betrayal. Mm, betraying yourself. Yeah, that's true. Betrayal is a web that disrupts everything you thought you knew. You d use discernment in your relationships. Betrayal makes it difficult to trust. 
but without trust your relationships are a lie (sighs) trust that no matter what happens and no matter how long it takes you will survive and thrive the real question have you betrayed or abandoned yourself Uh, I am willing to know the truth Okay, so I feel like this is a card of basically talking about needing to focus on yourself, Um, needing to trust yourself, needing to trust your decisions, needing to use discernment when it comes to (laughs) when it comes to relationships and people and situations using your first mind. Okay, because your first mind is always your best mind. We talked about this. Uh, I feel like spirit is saying like you know everything that has happened to us is because we allow it to happen right uh you know in certain situations not not the extreme ones but mainly the reason why we are in certain situations is because we put ourselves in certain situations and don't ever tell me that you can't help who you fall in love with yes you can yes you can uh and don't ever tell me you can't help who you have a baby with because yes you can yes you can okay you can take yourself out of situations you can do that you have god gave us free will right um spirit says like trust that no matter what happened and no matter how long it takes you will survive and thrive okay things will get better for you i think you need to do some shadow work should i get another goddess card So then tell me what's going on in Foul B's love life. Yeah, it's in Foul B. Let's see. What is happening in Foul B's love life? What is happening in Foul B's love life? What do they need to know? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, right. Got the burner card. There's a lot of cards that came out. Oh, we got the masculine and the feminine. Oh, right. Mm. Oh, okay. So you might know this person. <laughs> you might know this person. Uh, I feel like there's a new cycle starting right new cycle starting around this is pretty much timeless but right now we are in winter so the next season is spring so whatever next season you are going into is the season that is going to happen i feel like I feel like if this is not somebody that you already know, then this is somebody that you are going to know. Uh, Spirit says have patience, have peace and patience. It's a son of a bitch. (laughs) Patience, uh, divine timing is a son of a bitch. But, 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 but from the knowledge that I had to learn, patience is a virtue. (laughs) And sometimes we need to be patient in order for God, Jesus, whomever, the ancestors, whomever, your spirit guides are trying to set some shit up for you. And it's best for you to be patient. It's best for you to allow them to work because they work better than us. Okay. Spirit says that you need to be in the energy of believing that you deserve the best. And, And the reason why I say that you might not know this person is because I feel like if you don't know them, then you might meet them through social media maybe through a dating website or maybe through like some friends just maybe online and if you do know them 
then it's pretty much saying that they're watching you they got their eyes on you <laughs> I feel like spirit saying like there's there's a new start there's a lot of momentum that's building up that's about to happen maybe even like a new life cycle and I feel like your your person is going to be seeking you I feel like <laughs> I feel like you guys are going to be seeking each other it's a lot of like being in the pursuit of one another and it's going to lead to something that's going to be really committed something that might even lead to marriage for some of you guys if that's what you're desiring but but spirit says like there's something about you needing to have faith needing to be secure make sure that you are watching out for red flags and seeing through things that you like you know how sometimes we'd be like okay yeah i want to do it but we don't really do it and we feel like it's like we want to do it but we're unsure we're not stable we have lack of faith spirit says that you need to grow like very secure within yourself secure within what you want you need to to ground yourself you need to ground yourself one way i ground myself and it might not work for everybody but it's very common practice is to take is to imagine right imagine you're sitting down and you're meditating doing all those wonderful things and you're imagining your tailbone right that's that little that's that bone right in your ass right your ass crack that right there you're gonna imagine it being like a rope and you're going to imagine it pulling you all the way, pulling that rope all the way down to the cur core of the earth and wrapping itself around it, right? Well, you're, you're still here, but your, your tailbone is wrapped around, right? And that can help ground you. Sometimes when people do that, they feel like they're being tugged down to this reality because some of you guys are floaters. They might, they might go over your head. It might, if it does, then don't. Don't worry about it. But and another way to right is to go outside on grass, grass and dirt, the earth, not concrete, because concrete is not the earth, not a store, but actual like the ground, you know, the earth, and plant your feet, take your socks off, take your shoes off, and plant your seat, plant your feet in the earth. Even going to the beach, that's a good thing too. But like rooting yourself, okay? Because you need to ground yourself for some reason. Uh, maybe you're floating around. Maybe you need to build security. Um, Cause spirit says like you need to have this, this open-minded energy. You need to allow yourself to receive. You need to be in an abundant energy and listen to your intuition. I feel like the reason why they might tell you to be to ground yourself is because they want to connect with you spiritually. Do you not believe that you can have like a, a nice relationship, a happy relationship? For Pal B, let's see. The answers you are okay, okay, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, uh, Spirit says the answers that you need are coming. So you've been probably questioning things, wondering, pulling out. You know, sometimes we'd be like, man, I wonder why this is happening. Or just like asking ourselves questions. You're going to get answer to the answers to the questions you are asking. Spirit says like right now, like this, whatever issues that you are having when it comes to love, um, you're going to get some type of resolution. You're going to get some type of closure, some type of understanding. I feel like you're going to get understanding. And I, I really, really, really do feel like if you're not on your spiritual journey, um, if you do not have like a solid practice, and this is just my opinion, don't shoot me. I, I'm allowed to have an opinion. 
I just feel like sometimes when we are not uh, grounded in our spirituality, uh, not connected to something that's greater than ourselves, we have a hard time with creating security within ourselves. Okay, so I just feel like doing whatever spiritual practice that makes you happy, you should indulge in, right? I think it's going to bring you peace as well. And, 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 and uh, I'm sorry. And a lot of understanding of who you are. I feel like you have things that you want, but you don't have plans. Like you're not secure. It's like, you remember when I was saying like, yeah, I want to do it, but I don't know. It's that type of energy. Spirit says like you gotta be bold to make the first move in your life. Like you gotta, you gotta be secure within yourself. You gotta know that you are good enough. You gotta have an understanding of what you want. And I'm not a big Bible thumper, but I do, I do like the Bible and I do like some things out of the Bible. I just don't like the whole book. Um, that's just my issues. But I do feel like, I just feel like spirituality might, might help you. Uh, talking to God, talking to Jesus. That's my boy. I love Jesus. He's he's such a wonderful energy. Jesus, now if you need some peace, go to Jesus. Jesus will definitely bring you a lot of peace and love. I don't know. I just, with you, I feel like what you need to know is that uh you can have a committed marriage if you're already in well you're single so you're not into something but if you know somebody see i keep on going back and forth because i don't know if it's somebody you know or if it's somebody you don't know but it doesn't even fucking matter whoever is coming towards you is going to be somebody that's going to commit to you you just need to know that you're good enough for that it says see through your own false beliefs so it's a you thing this is a you thing right it's not them it's you and I want you look I'm telling you that because you my peoples and I'm always going to help y'all out by you know showing y'all who y'all are because I want you to show me who I am be nice with it though don't be a fucking bitch but be <laughs> be nice but uh I really feel like if you work on yourself your soulmate is going to come and it's going to be a great relationship. But if you don't, if you don't get grounded, if you don't get stable, if you don't get that, that self-esteem going, it's going to be an issue. Okay? So, you got love coming towards you. Are you ready for it? That's my question. Because you could have marriage. You could have a legal partnership. You could have commitment. You can have contracts. You have contracts to fulfill. But are you ready for it? If you are, get your ass out there. Do your thing. Know that you're worth it. Focus on your own happiness. It's something about seeing through your own false belief, child. And letting go of the past. Stop reliving that shit. Spirit says that we are with you. Okay, when you're feeling lost and you're feeling lonely. and you're, I'm sorry, one second. Okay, I didn't want to uh, cough in your ear. But when you're feeling lost and you're feeling lonely. I just, I just really want you to. There it is. <laughs> oh. uh, I just really want you to find yourself. I want you to find yourself. I want you to discover who you truly are. I want you to open up to all the magic that you have. All the wonderful things that you give to the world. You know, I want you to see what other people see of you. And trust that spirit has you. That all will be well. That you're going to be just fine. Because it's saying that you might be a little lost. And look, baby, that's why we find shit. Because if it's lost, it can be found, okay? So I just want you to find yourself. I think that you'll be more happier, honestly. So if this makes any type of sense, uh, please let me know. And I'll talk to you beautiful people in the next one. Hi, pal. See how y'all doing today? 
So I have a message for y'all. What's the message? What is the message? Oh shit. Okay. Oh, oh. Yimiya. Where are you? Oh, Yimiya Nanabaruka. <laughs> I'm telling y'all a quick story. <laughs> um, these are the two ladies that helped me to get pregnant with my little baby Sebastian. He passed away, but baby <laughs> let me tell you something i i prayed i got pregnant by the wrong person so be careful what you ask for make sure you're having sex with the right people but you see how yimmy is even pregnant on this picture let me make sure it's clear because i can't really see did they make it clear okay uh yimmy and nana Baruka. so um Nana Baruka, she's very, very uh, strong energy, and they are a correlation. These are um, Arishas. Um, yeah, I'm very excited because uh, my first pal one, pal A, was Oya. And Oya is definitely an uh, Arisha of Ifa. Um, I believe. Yeah, and I know that these two are Arishas of Aoife as well so this is cute I like this um, I'm trying to get the energy of what they're saying because these are the two ladies that are very much about motherhood uh, pregnancy uh, wellness of women that's my nail cool um, hmm, what are y'all talking about what y'all gotta say Hen. comfort love motherhood welcoming of new beginnings Ocean, water, playfulness. Hmm. Uh, high priestess, water, goddess. Yimiya controls the ocean. Uh, we yeah, we know this. She has a very loving energy. Uh, Yoruba mother, Arisha. Yeah, she's a deity. Mm -hmm. And she never leaves you. Okay, Goddess Yimiya controls the ocean, the amniotic fluid that nurtures us before we know ourselves. Wake up and awaken now to your true self. Are those tears of joy or of sorrow? Let them out. Yimiya swallows your tears. You are vibrating at a high frequency. Okay, so you see everything differently. This is Goddess Rising. Mm. You are waking up, and once you have experienced an awakening, you can never go back. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that is very true. Uh, the path of awakening is not straight. It's not comfortable or easy. It's not. <laughs> and you have chosen to lift the veil and have a real relationship with the divine. You didn't come to transcend the world while you're living. Wait, you didn't come to transcend this world while you're living in it. You came here to dig into the soul, plant yourself, and to grow. This ascension is your divine purpose. Your divine purpose is to grow, to nurture yourself, to become a goddess. You hear me? I am receiving and radiating love. Oh, that's nice. You know what I got from that? And, uh, you know, I didn't know these two women as new cycles and new beginnings. But look at this shit right here. Are you ready for a new beginning? You you have entered into a new cycle. So I just be, I don't be talking just to be talking. I always say that. <laughs> um, I really feel like you are having a blessing of love, like a blessing of being guided to cherish your. You are coming into a goddess. You have worked so hard. I'm so happy for you. This is nice. This is nice. Okay. Nana Maruka is the most high supreme being. Yes, she is. She is the mother of all the deities. Um, supreme being. She is her mother. <laughs> um, so she's a supreme being. A primordial mother. A grandmother of all the Arishas, the deities. She's a wives woman, a herbalist, and a healer. She is definitely a healer. I can... I can vouch for that. You have entered into a new cycle that is very old. Allow yourself to be present, trust in divine timing, and don't be in such a hurry. There are no such short shortcuts here. You are ready for a new beginning. You are in or entering into a new season that will force you to evolve. Yes. Oh shit. These cards correlate very well. This is a time of major transition. You are not stuck. You are holding on to old patterns. Change can be terrifying. Allow yourself to be 
mentored when you choose a new path you are ripe for self-sabotage a committed test from the universe may pop up to delay this new pathway stay the course your time is now i am limitless that's your declaration i am limitless okay i'm just gonna say this real quickly because i really like this energy uh you are meant for something more than what you are doing now and baby it's not gonna be easy but what they say nothing easy is worth having right like you, you don't want a, somebody that's gonna give it up to you real easy you want to work for a little bit you know what i'm saying so that, so that when you get it it's a whole different thing than somebody just giving you something then you working for it trust me it's a whole nother thing it's like a whole nother appreciation and i feel like they're wanting to give you some type of new life right it, it can be a physical child it cannot be a physical child but just a new beginning right and spirit says that we're going to come in we're going to test you so just know that when you're going through difficulties this, this is a test this is a test honey this is a test and you should take that test not lightly <laughs> but you should embrace it like spirit says like your goal into life is to become a goddess you are meant to transcend you are meant to be greater than who you are you're meant to be a goddess okay <laughs> you are meant for more and i feel like they're saying like we're watching you we're, we're we're wanting to elevate you your your gift your blessing is of success like you're gonna be somebody great i don't know what you're gonna be but you're gonna be somebody you're gonna be somebody <laughs> you you have you have a blessing a blessing in store for you that is going to transcend like anything that you have done before like you I think you should just get ready give me okay yeah maybe you have a vision maybe you have a vision and I oh shit and I feel like spirit is saying like even what was it in one number one oh we got a new romance we gonna take that one what was that number one out of Luca what did it say you are not stuck. You are holding on to past old patterns. Change can be terrifying. Allow yourself to be mentored. Uh, I would say you are entering into a new season that will force you to evolve. This is a time of major transition. Stay the course and your time is now. A committed test from the universe may pop up and delay this new path. Yeah, so I, I just feel like, like you have great energy coming towards you and i make sure that you are not speaking negatively on your new beginning make sure that you are releasing things and fear fear is there's nothing to fear but fear itself right <laughs> um i really feel like that's very true okay i'm gonna just give y'all a little quick story i've been giving y'all stories all fucking day child but i just one real quick story um so you remember I told y'all I'm in Arizona and I'm going to take a video and put it in, uh, ah, shit, I don't want to show y'all where I live at, but it's so beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send y'all some pictures of the, shit, I'm trying to see what I can show y'all. I just know I'm in fucking Arizona. Okay. With palm trees. It's a little chilly outside i'm here right so i feel like and 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 when you have no fear and when you're able to know that you got this shit and that everything that you do is going to turn into gold you are her right uh i drove through them fucking mountains i drove through them fucking mountains i actually drove about like 25 hours from chicago to arizona and i did that shit oh i did that shit tell me i look i was fucked up mentally for a couple of days and i want to i didn't want to get on the expressway but i did it right i packed up all my stuff i said goodbye to all my friends i did something that i thought i could never do and i did it and look where i'm at now god has god has put me in a position to have better than what i had in chicago so i'm saying all that to say don't live in the energy of being fearful when you are meant to have greater okay <laughs> spirit says don't be egotistical either but a good balance of knowing that you deserve things and being humble okay it's a real thing um 
it's gonna really work for you spirit says that you have this vision you have this thing that you want they want to give it to you okay they want to give it to you they want you to be in a situation where you're making sure that you're coming from being compassionate being understanding even focusing on your passions because I feel like you have something new you got a new start a new a new cycle and it's coming very soon you're very very close to achieving it you're very very close to getting it and you're very lucky right now so this is nice thank you Nana Maruka and Yimmy I really appreciate that okay really appreciate the love <sighs> I'm trying to figure out how to do this though oh, what do you need to know okay you are great you have you 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 are goddess oh, okay that means that because you are a goddess okay and I just told you that you are a goddess so that means that since you know better you got to do better right okay as long as you know that you gotta do better because you have somebody who's coming towards you okay I don't know if this is a new person or an old person but this is something where um, you have somebody that's coming towards you somebody seeking you a masculine is seeking you wanting to give new opportunities it might even be somebody you know that wants to give a second chance spirit says like, I, like I, we said before okay say it with me since you know better you gotta do better because you are a goddess you are meant to elevate God's <laughs> I don't know what you believe as far as spiritually but most of the time you are not supposed to date below you it just creates difficulty misunderstandings and more stress than what you need and why would you date somebody who's not even on the level of being a king you are a goddess <laughs> so I just feel like make empowered decisions when it comes to love and make sure that you are standing on business right um because I do feel like you have somebody coming around coming back around uh it could be a reconciliation it really could I feel like yes like like I said before you need to make sure that you are focused on what you really want um something about some money hmm what's going on with Palsy's money something about some money maybe maybe they're saying that in love okay oh oh okay I get that I get that I see that I see that okay okay oh, okay some of you guys might get a job uh in a bank maybe some of y'all guys some of y'all might get jobs that might take you straight to the bank okay yeah you about to get some new opportunities financially okay so i'm gonna say this real real quickly everything plays into everything right if you are doing uh damn i be wanting to tell y'all shit but my brain don't be working half the time reflexology right and i believe that's when you mm, work with the foot right if you hit certain points on that foot it connects to your body everything is connected so it's saying in that elevation of when it comes to knowing what you deserve period you need to focus on what you want and love is for and money career finances because you are um <laughs> you are a goddess and you are a goddess and i keep telling you this because it's saying like we're gonna give you options not just when it comes to love we want you to correct every aspect of your life even when it comes to family like you don't have to deal with that shit spirit says you have a lot of good news for so for the ones who um have been going after financial opportunities trying to get a new job you got it you got it spirit says like you are about to get into the position of being able to have old money okay okay opportunities being able to pick and choose what you want and it's just because you know who you are it's just because you know what you want it's because you're trying to balance you're trying to get an understanding and i feel like it's going to come with someone who's going to love you and it's going to also come with a new career opportunity okay look it says new job and love okay i'm only telling you what i'm saying 
Spirit says, you know, be in the energy of yes. Be in the energy of new beginnings. Don't take the... Don't go off and think and forget. You know how sometimes we hear a message and we be like, oh, that's so nice. And then we forget. Don't forget this one. I feel like if you embrace that energy and stand on it, uh, you would get a lot of good shit. <laughs> you would get a lot of good stuff. And don't be fearful. Okay? Don't live in remorseful energy. Live in empowered energy. Because it's going to change your love life. It's going to change your friendship circle. It's going to change your finances. It's going to change probably where you live at. You're probably going to get something better. It's going to change. <clears throat> it's going to change your job. You're going to get something better. Right? Change the way you eat. Change the way you look. Change the way you feel. And it all comes from you just embracing freshness. So I feel like this is not really I, I feel like you might have someone like a masculine that's coming towards you you might know this person they might want a new choice but just make sure that you're in the energy of understanding what you will and will not deal with and focus on elevating all aspects of your life it's going to be very beneficial it's not going to take oh shit you did have the cards of um <laughs> of it wait wait did you have the cards of it not being easy or was that pal I lied to you. Oh, Yemi, yeah, mommy, what is your for you? Hmm, no, I didn't say that. So that must have been Pal B. Well, I feel like Spirit is just saying, like, you are here for a reason, you are here to grow. You are here to elevate. You have a divine purpose. Okay. Don't forget that. Don't forget that you have a divine purpose. So you might get a reconciliation. And you might get a new job. <laughs> I feel like you will get a new job. Um, anything else, Spirit? Be blessed and not stressed. If you like this reading, please let me know. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. What's this? Oh. Um, and the energy of spring is when you're going to truly blossom. So let me know what you think about this and I'll talk to you in the next one. Mm -hmm.